Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode of my tutorial series. Today we'll be landing on the moon. So this is what we're going to be building. There's a contract in Mission Control Center. Don't forget to get that so you can get a bunch of money from doing this. We haven't got a Terrier this time. We've got three Spark engines instead. And we're just placing, just trying to find out which engine would be good for this one. And currently, I'm just placing a bunch of fuel tanks so we can get a get enough uh, delta V or fuel uh, to go to the man and land and return back to cabin and we don't have enough fuel so I had to do a rescue mission in this so I would add a bit more fuel in this stage maybe one more tank to the bottom or maybe if, if you see later a another solid rocket booster to this because I had three and this and yeah I just fade across to orbit I've set a maneuver node if you want more help with this go check out my previous videos and you can watch them instead. I'm just banning to the man with Bob Carmen, my scientist. Yeah. My burn's over. Now time to do a mid course correction burn. And after we finalise this burn. And I'm just flattening out my, making my moon orbits a bit more equatorial. Take 4.5 meters per second, which is not that much. Just messing with maneuvers. You should probably not go for that. Um, that maneuver basically doesn't save any delta V. I thought it would, but it doesn't. And just making it a, a circular orbit, kind of like we do around the cabin, rather than my previous one in my orbit mun episode last, no, two weeks ago. And, and now we are here. Yeah. Alright, now we've got the, now we're about to do our landing burn. Don't worry if this takes you multiple tries, I just did a quick save just in case it take, took me multiple tries. It did take me multiple tries to land it correctly, but my first try I landed sideways of this mission. Just fast forward and until like we're close to the surface. Move this maneuver node and set that the gauge altitude gauge to surface so we know how high we are above the surface of the man rather than the sea level. Well it doesn't have a sea level, the lowest point of the man and it's in sea mode. You want to cancel out all your horizontal velocity before you do a vertical velocity. But you can also aim a bit more up, point your rocket a bit more up so you don't hit the ground whilst trying to land. When you're landing, you want about 
800 meters per second of delta V to get back to Kerbin when you're on the surface. Maybe it's a 900. No, it's a 900. You need 900 meters per second of delta V to have enough to spare. I've just wasted a bit of delta V there by going up. Try not to do that because that wastes quite a lot of fuel. Oh, don't forget to deploy your landing gear with by going to your mouse and clicking the button just in between brakes and lights. And I'm gonna extend this ladder. That's just a ladder. Um, just fast forwarding through the science. You know how to do all your science. And if you don't, check out my previous videos that cover it in more detail. For example, my first video. And I think my second video. He's got a plan plant a fag, Bob. Also, you should probably put the biome you're in for on on the name of your flag so you know to not land there in future playthrough in no in future landings on the moon but I don't think we're ever gonna land on the moon again maybe we will for another contract at the moment I'm just trying to climb up the ladder and store the data but there's a very silly thing to do to get more science if you let go with Bob and oh that's a bit of a fail and use your RCS and just jump and then use R2 to fly it up and then you can go EVA and then you're above the highlands you're flying above the highlands as Kerbal Space Program thinks you are which is not wrong but yeah, you can put that in however you like. Just climbing up the ladders for the final time. Bob just broke his neck, but he's fine. Boarding. And you want to head to on the 90 degree vector, so that is down on the apple, towards the bottom of the screen on the apple, or towards Kerbin, because that will save as much fuel as possible. And immediately start heading sideways to because you don't need to go that high in orbit. Come on. Track the ladder and retract your landing gear. You want your apoapsis at just over 10 kilometers, so it can, so you can have enough height. I went way over by going 35 kilometers. You can see I barely have enough delta V to even exit the man. So put pack some more delta V in. It doesn't matter how, just do it for this mission. I also have my antenna extended so I don't lose connection. Uh, maneuver, kind of like we do for carbon orbit after we've risen from the surface, but it's a lot less. <laughs> it's a lot less you have to do for the man to get into orbit from the surface. 
just gotta face in the right direction. And we're just at the maneuver node now and we're gonna burn it's half power. Oh, actually only third power. Just to get it as accurate as possible and make sure we don't waste any delta V. I'm just messing around with these maneuvers so I can get uh, as close to the so as close to carbon as possible so when I rescue Bob with a different craft that I'll be doing and I'll be doing a rendezvous but I won't cover that I'll cover that in the next episode but not in this huh. I'll no I'll do it in the next episode with a mission like So when we do this burn, we're gonna, uh, it's two hours away so we're just gonna fast forward to this, to it, but max time warp and, and also I've got the sp footage sped up, so we're gonna get there fast, get to that burn fast. Just before the burn, I'm just going to face in the right direction again because I've went out of the correct direction for the time. Now we're back on the way to Kerbin. And after a quick rendezvous, we are right next to it with our saving vehicle. Go into. You need to click this hopefully you wouldn't have to do this but like just add more fuel so much easier to do and you want to set your apoapsis to be your maneuver to because that's gonna require the least fuel to, to slow down at because you're traveling the slowest And now I'm just changing camera. Just, just using all my fuel so I don't crash into the surface of carbon at the speed of light. Just gonna average landing run that mo from run over landing. Got bug and we got Plenty of science from that. I think 450, which is a lot. Most we've got from any mission, I'm pretty sure. Time to go to the R&D building, deck tree. I'm thinking we are going. We might. I don't know. Um. Just look under all of these. I think we're gonna go advanced electric so we can get bigger solar panels, bigger rockets. And also the science that that the electronics one to get more science as well. And this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe and goodbye.